Well, good morning, everybody. It's day two of muscle looter season. We're gonna hunt what I call the graveyard. There's a old family graveyard here. And basically, we're starting at the top of the mountain because yesterday I did some scouting and found Matt a giant pile of bear crap. And it seemed pretty fresh. It wasn't warm, but it was very soft. I also have two cameras down in here, about uh, three quarters of a mile. They've been, it's been by far my best spot, so we're just gonna still on our way down. It might take us three hours to get there to where I wanna be, but I think it's gonna be worth it. This so far has been my best spot, and no people. I have not seen a single person here yet. Well, I just sat down well, about an hour ago. I sat down and I uh, was just about to do this interview. Like I said, I was just about to do this interview. My tripod broke. So, basically we're gonna be relying on the phone, the GoPro, and probably gonna have a nice cool kill shot. So, it kinda sucks, but my options are, I don't have any options, so. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and then continue working my way down the ridge here, trying to make it to my cameras today. Alright, so my camera just went off. I'm about 600 yards away from it. Uh, basically, broken tripod staying here. Hopefully, I come out this way. I'm gonna follow this ridge down and just get like. Try to get within 100 yards of the camera if I can. I made it down to my cameras, at least the first one. And I can tell why the deer are in here. It is beyond polluted with acorns. So, I'm definitely gonna sit here for a couple hours before I even bother trying to get my cameras down. I know there's deer. An hour ago there was deer here, so sit here, eat, drink. I'm already dreading going back up this damn mountain. I have about eight to nine hundred foot of elevation to go back up in uh, roughly three quarters of a mile. It's pretty significant. Acorns are falling like crazy. The good thing is if I get one, I should be able to drag it down the hill. And I just gotta cross the river. Wow, what a turn of events it's been. Two and a half hours to hike off that mountain. Come back to the cabin and I just wanna keep hunting. So I'm just gonna hunt behind the cabin for the rest of the night. It's like, uh, oh, I don't even know what time it is. Might be pushing five o'clock. Yeah, it's five o'clock. Blue jays are chirping off in the distance. I don't have a ton of land to hunt. My wife's family doesn't own a ton here, but we consistently have been getting deer back here, so it's kind of figured what the hell, why not try it? What the hell was that? Why did I do that so loud? <sighs> the 
there's like three or four of them coming right down through. I can't imagine they're coming back. I got so freaking excited. I, <laughs> I meant too hard. I should have just whistled or something soft. That's a pretty good sign to start the morning. <clears throat> there was about four or five deer right on top of that ridge. I'm pretty sure one of those was a buck. Man, I might just sit here for a little bit, go tuck down in this pipeline, and sit. Um, I found yeah, corn. That's huge right now. I'm sure those deer are probably six, seven hundred yards away. I can't make a play on them from here. I'm probably just going to go down. To, there's a ridge here and it drops to a valley. I'm just going to go there and sit for a little bit. Finally found the doe. <coughs> They're 350 yards away. So if I can get to the next tail, which is 158 yards away, they'll be 150 yards away from me, provided they don't see me. So I'm gonna try to make a move on these deer. I'm not comfortable with 150 yards. I'd still like it to be about 100, but if I can get closer and they can come closer, we might be in business. Basically what I've done is I went to go see if those deer bedded down in the pipeline. They didn't, but I found a trail where I last saw them that goes across the pipeline and I just picked a side. I don't know if I picked the right side or not, but that was really close guys. Oh my God.
those deer are about 250 yards away. <coughs> so they got to make up 150 yards before I can even try to shoot. They might. It's only 4.30, so... I'm going to keep my hopes up. Just try to keep an eye on them. That's good. 